Hi, my name is Brent Greer. I'm with John R. Wood Properties in Southwest Florida, and I would like to introduce to you America's first fully solar powered tent. Welcome to Babcock Ranch, America's first solar powered town. It's in Charlotte County in Southwest Florida, a community that mixes sustainable uh, and renewable building with watershed preserve. It's still a working ranch with hundreds of head of cattle, beautiful lakes throughout. I can't wait to show it to you. There are already five or six builders at Babcock Ranch and within the next two weeks Pulte and Lennar are joining uh, the developers out here. You can see all kinds of earth moving equipment as this 9,000 acre parcel uh, it grows into homes. Models to start with and then complete subdivisions uh, within the Babcock Ranch development uh, with all kinds of features, different models of homes, lakes in the area, uh, again, a very natural environment. All the lakes, low places, wet places, were originally mining ponds on this property. In 10 to 20 years, when Babcock Ranch is fully built out, approximately 50,000 people will call this community home. But 150 years ago, this area was just barren scrub. In the late 1800s, the McAdow family of Montana, fresh from striking it rich in the gold mines, decided that South Florida was a much nicer place to be than the cold of the western United States. Uh, they became leading business people in the pioneer town of Punta Gorda on the southwest coast, uh, opening banks and mercantile buildings. In the early 1800s, the Babcock family of Pittsburgh purchased what was then called the Crescent Bee Ranch and renamed it the Babcock Ranch. Mr. Babcock was the mayor of Pittsburgh and also a timber baron. Now the Babcock Ranch at that time became a leading agricultural producer, raising cattle, there was minerals coming out of the property, timber, and in later years it was used as a sod farm. Even today it is still a working cattle ranch. In 2004, the Kitson and Company, which actually develops towns across the United States, purchased the nearly 100,000 acre property uh, from the Babcock family and then turned around and sold 73,000 acres to the state of Florida, which had desperately wanted a large part of the property for watershed preservation in an area stretching from central Florida at Lake Okeechobee down to Punta Gorda and the southwest Florida estuaries. That gave Florida what it needed and wanted, and Kitson then took the remaining 18,000 acres, uh, which was set aside to build a town. And of that 18,000, only 9,000 is actually going to be built upon. The rest will be parks, green space, and open area. Here's another view of the large lake at the center of the development, the band shell, where all kinds of activities are happening, yoga, music, uh, construction of a wellness center that will be managed by Lee Health and again part of the town center that has been developed and a fountain for kids to run around in. You can see it there. Scattered throughout the development are what would anywhere else be defined as contemporary sculptures. But they are actually solar collectors. And here at Babcock Ranch, they're actually called solar trees. And next to the ice cream parlor in the town square is Babcock Ranch's first school. Right now it is an elementary school, but additional buildings and additional grades will be added as more people pour into this growing community. In all, of the 18,000 some acres that were set aside for development uh, that was not put into watershed pres preservation, we're building on about, or Babcock Ranch is building on about 9,000 acres. And of that, much of it are lakes and ponds and green spaces. There are many pocket parks everywhere. Uh, this is shaping up to be quite a tremendous development and so ecologically friendly.
I wanted to show you a satellite view of Babcock Ranch so you could get, a, get an idea of the development. Uh, right in the center in this area, this is the town center right in here. Babcock Lake, uh, the large lake, is right here to the north. Uh, but what's coming, I wanted to show you what powers this town and is kind of the centerpiece of its um, claim to fame, is about five miles north of the main town center development, right along Route 31, U.S., or I'm sorry, Florida 31. Up here is a very large solar array, a solar field, and developed in partnership uh, with Babcock Ranch and Florida Power and Light, FPL. It represents about a $350 million investment by FPL. Now, one of the best things about this is that as the, the more and more solar collectors come online and are generating power for the town, any excess power for homes uh, will actually be sold back to Florida Power and Light. So creating basically any kind of a zero sum or a, a zero impact on the environment when it comes to energy uh, for this development. So I'm back inside on the next day out of the wind uh, we were experiencing out at Babcock Ranch. So just to wind up, um, ultimately the plan is for uh, Babcock Ranch to be the world's most sustainable city and ultimately it will produce more power and electricity than it consumes at this point. And one of the exciting things from a preservation aspect uh, being part of a community like this is in addition to its sustainable features of the entire development, more than 90% of it will never be built upon. The rest will all be preserved as I had mentioned. Uh, uh, preserving an environmental uh, waterway uh, from Central Florida at, at Lake Okeechobee all the way down to the uh, Port Charlotte estuary uh, on the southwest coast of Florida. Anyway, to wrap up, if you'd like a tour of this amazing development and some of the energy efficient homes that are being out here in America's uh, first solar powered city at Babcock Ranch, please give me a call or email. I'm at 239-207-4330 or go to my website, buyupparadise.com. I'm Brent Greer with John R. Wood. Thank you.